we're making a video today. All right. What's up everyone? Welcome to a new video. I'm in a new location because my girlfriend just moved back in for college and I'm visiting her. So today we're gonna to be checking out After Effects and more specifically speed ramping within After Effects. Now I know you guys should know how to speed ramp in Premiere Pro, but After Effects is completely different. So I wanted to jump into some advanced techniques that I use when I'm speed ramping because when you speed ramp in After Effects, whoo, it looks so good. So let's check it out. Your breath still you jump the fire will just sit and wait till you see me fly you know they'll never catch me for it you see me fly the way I put my finger on it you see me fly well, hopefully you liked that little intro if you did please click that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments below what is speed ramping within After Effects. Well, it's actually called time remapping and it uses keyframes where you can drag these keyframes around, which represents your speed. And the powerful feature that After Effects has is called a graph editor. And this graph editor will allow you to completely customize your speed ramp once you understand some basic knowledge. So we're gonna jump into that in today's video. Huge shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So what is Skillshare? Well, Skillshare is an online learning community where you can learn just about anything and everything to fuel your curiosity and creativity. It's pretty incredible. They have a ton of workshops that you can look at and sign up for, and you can also browse classes regarding animation, creative writing, film and video, and even fine art. There's so much more, but honestly, you'll just have to dive in and check it out for yourself. And I actually just started this class from Dale McManus that's hopefully gonna tell me how to take the perfect selfie. It's pretty interesting so far, and I can't wait to see what I learn. The best thing about Skillshare is that it's less than $10 a month. I mean, to me, that is a great deal. And if you're the first 1,000 to click the link in the description down below, you'll actually get two free months of Skillshare Premium. So for starters, we need to understand how to actually speed ramp within After Effects. I have this clip right here and all you have to do is right click on your clip and go to time and then select enable time remapping. What that does is it actually creates two keyframes that you can see, one at the beginning and one at the end. Now in the simplest terms, if we drag this keyframe to the left and play this back, you'll see that it actually speeds up. But what happens when it goes to the end of that keyframe? Well, the clip stops because since that keyframe was the end of our video, if we bring this to the left, there's going to be nothing playing after this fact. So you can just drag these down. But let's understand this a little bit further by going into the graph editor right here by selecting this button. So when you go into this button, you can instantly view this graph and there's a bunch of different view modes that you can enable. So I have the show selected properties and show graph editor set selected. And right here on the next one, I also have auto select graph, but you can edit the speed graph. You can show a reference graph. You can pretty much do anything you want. So I would recommend clicking on edit speed graph. That way you can see the actual speed that is happening. And you can also go to the value graph to see it on a linear scale where it shows you the range over time. So this is the beginning of our clip, that's the ending of our clip. But let's start to look at our keyframes. So right click on your first keyframe here and go to keyframe assistant and go to easy ease out and then right click on your last one and keyframe assistant and go to easy ease in. And let's go back to the speed graph and see what happened. You'll notice that I am looking at the value graph because I think that's really nice. The speed graph is also beneficial when you want to look at the speed of everything. And this is kind of more similar to um, Premiere Pro. For example, if I drag the left hand line to the middle and my backhand keyframe to the middle as well, you'll instantly notice that we have this graph that looks like it's really high in the center and slows down. So what that does is if we play it back, our clip should be very slow, almost too slow because we don't have enough frames per second. And then all of a sudden it's going to be lightning fast and then back down. So that's the basic terms of how to create a speed ramp within After Effects. But let's apply this knowledge onto an example. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to delete my time remapping and start to get an idea of what I wanna do. So I want to transition from this clip right here into this clip right here. So what I'm gonna do is actually create a speed ramp up and a speed ramp down into these clips. So for starters, go onto our first clip, right click, select time, enable time remapping. As soon as you do that, again, we have these keyframes right here that reference our time. How do we speed this up right here? Well, it gets a little complicated and this is where you're gonna have to play around with stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a keyframe where I want the speed ramp to start to happen on this clip. So I think right here is a good point for the speed ramp to start to happen. So I'm gonna come over here to the left-hand side and select add or remove keyframe. And then what I'm gonna do is actually drag this keyframe at the end closer to that keyframe right there. And then I'm gonna drag this video clip to the end like so. Now, if you play this back, you'll see that it'll be normal speed really fast and then it stops. So what you wanna do is manipulate this right here. So what I typically like to do is right click on my first keyframe and go to keyframe assistant, easy ease out, right click on my last keyframe, keyframe assistant, easy ease in. Now, once you do that, we can go look at our speed graph and zoom in here by hitting the plus sign and see what is happening. So what I want to do is I want this to be a smooth speed ramp out and then I want it to be really quick when it's ending. So I'm gonna drag this right hand keyframe to the right. So if you play this back, it should be smooth and then really fast. The fun thing about these speed ramps with an After Effects is that you can actually change them. So I can click and drag this beginning keyframe to the right and you'll notice that it starts a little bit faster. So I like that really fast look. So you can adjust these however you want and move them all over the place. One thing to keep in mind is this keyframe represents a moment in time. So for example, look at where my road is in reference to my building. If I move the speed ramp to the left to slow this whole thing down and go back to that keyframe, you'll notice that it is the exact same moment in time. So you can move these keyframes all over the place in order to get your desired effect. So I like the look of that right there. And then I need the next video layer that I'm going to transition into. So let's pull on this clip right here and bring this to our clip. As you can see, it doesn't really work the best because they just go together. So again, we're gonna right click on this second video layer, go to time, enable time remapping, and we already have one keyframe at the beginning and one keyframe at the end. So let's just scroll forward to where we want our speed ramp to stop. So I think somewhere right around there looks good. And we're gonna create another keyframe by clicking the add keyframe button right there. And then let's simply drag this to the beginning a little bit just so it looks about the same distance and play this back. You'll see right away it's very choppy and it doesn't look the best. So what we're gonna do is right click on our first keyframe, go to keyframe assistant and go to easy ease out. Right click on our second keyframe and go to easy ease in. Now let's click on the graph editor and start to look at our speed ramp. We know that we want this speed to be super fast in the beginning and then slow itself down. So I'm gonna drag this left hand keyframe to the left and I'm gonna drag my right keyframe to the left a tiny bit. So it's like fast and then it gradually slows down. I would recommend playing around with the speed graph and the value graph because the value graph is kind of fun to look at over time. For example, we just adjusted the speed, but look at over time what the speed is doing. So sometimes you can click and drag this down to actually match that speed graph into the time. So it's very seamless. So definitely check out the value graph. All right, so let's play this back and see what we made. So right away, it looks clean. Like they transition together and these clips are going at different angles. As you can see, this one is like panning up to the right. And then when we come down, we're panning down to the left. So you can play around with some effects like a flop. If I drag a flop onto this right here, you'll see that it actually matches that motion a little bit more. So keep playing around with that and keep in mind when you are transitioning clips together that you want them to blend a little bit more seamlessly. And one final tip 
right click, go to new adjustment layer and drag this adjustment layer to the top over all your video clips and type in CC force motion blur. As soon as you drag that onto your clip, watch what happens. I will untoggle it and you can see there's no motion blur and then I will retoggle it and check it out. After Effects creates motion blur where there's a lot of motion. So for example, if a building isn't moving, it won't have a lot of motion in it. So if we play this back, it looks like this. Well, that was a seamless speed ramp and it looks awesome. One thing to keep in mind within After Effects is actually just getting creative with it. Because for example, right here on this clip, you can actually speed this back up if you want to. In order to speed something up, typically I like to click a start point for my speed ramp, add a keyframe, and then I like to scroll through like what I want to speed ramp through. So for example, I'm just scrolling to find how much speed ramp I want, and then when you want your speed ramp to end, add another keyframe. And now the tricky thing about After Effects that's confusing is since we just created these two points, we actually have to adjust this. So I'm gonna click and drag this to the left, play it back, you'll see that it's really fast during that one moment. And then this is where you can right click on your keyframes, go to Easy Ease Out, and we'll right click, go to Easy Ease In. Now, if you select on your keyframes and go into the graph editor, you can also do the Easy Ease Out and Easy Ease In with these buttons down here but I like looking at the value graph when I'm doing speed ramping because I think it is important to keep the same linear line or slope on this graph. So, and it gives you an idea to really see what is looking. So for example, if you drag this straight up, watch what happens. It's like, it's like a jolt, which is actually a pretty cool effect that I may do a tutorial on in the future. But if you want it to be smooth, just match those lines like that slope and drag it out a little bit more. Now when you play it back, it looks really smooth. And as you can see, the top one is pretty quick because that slope is not as gradual. If you want this second ramp to be a little bit smoother, you can drag it to the left, but you'll notice that the more you drag it, the actually quicker our speed ramp gets here in the middle. So what you can also do is you can click and drag your right speed ramp to the right to slow it down and just adjust all of these angles however you like. Speed ramping is actually incredible within After Effects and there's honestly so much that you can do within After Effects and speed ramping. In the graph editor, you can manipulate everything and drag these lines around to get an interesting dynamic speed ramp. The biggest takeaway is using those keyframes and understanding that all you need is a starting point for that keyframe and an ending point for that keyframe. And then anything in between there is basically what your speed ramp is going to be. So just imagine that you can have a starting point, an ending point, a starting point, and then another ending point in order to create a fast speed ramp into a slowdown into another fast speed ramp. So there's a lot that you have to take into account when you're using After Effects, but using these basic steps are what allows you to create those advanced transitions like in the beginning video. It's pretty simple and easy, and I like it. And I wanted this tutorial to be simple and easy, but if you guys want more tutorials focused on speed ramping and how you can create some unique effects, like for example, that one we just found out where it's like a fast jolt speed ramp, let me know, and then I'll totally do it. But that's all I have time now for today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, click that like button, and let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm excited to go back to my house so I can keep grinding out some more tutorials but it's been fun. I'll see you guys next time.